All right, so here's the pan. Here's the pan from the rougher or the finisher, I mean. And uh, here's you can see all the middlings. It's a little bit more coarser material. Uh, still a lot of iron. Uh, we'll process that later. We'll probably recirculate that back through the hammer mill. Um, so we're gonna take this material that we got from the finisher and go over and pan it. You always like to pan into uh, a jug, another container, and then another little pan. Just so in case uh, you have any losses, you can go back and, and capture those. This has got a lot of iron in it, a lot of other metals, so you're really going to have a hard time panning it all out. And just for time purposes, I'm going to uh, pan it kind of fast and be really aggressive with it. So. You can see I'm losing lots of sulfides, lots of iron ore, and there's probably a little bit of gold in there because I'm not taking my time with it like I normally would. I actually would normally process this probably on a little finish table and get it dialed in to, the, to where I want. You can see some gold starting to appear there. Get it, we'll get it uh, sent back down to the bottom here. Did you finish it off on something like the, your RP4? I finished it off on the RP4, absolutely. And uh, be able to go straight to a straight to a furnace and smelt it after that. Okay, so I'm probably losing a little bit of gold in there. That's why I'm panning into another pan, but. Uh, Need to clean it up a little bit. There's a little bit of gold I see there that just went out. So we will now There it is appearing. See a big old chunk of silver or something in there. There you go. Thanks for tuning in.